Christmas. You're still here? You'd like those cookies? Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Moray, and I'm calling this one Five Christmas Weapons That Suck and One That Doesn't. Throughout the seven years of Zombie Go Boom, we've also done all sorts of Christmas episodes. And with those Christmas episodes, we've done all sorts of Christmas weaponry. However, most of that improvised weaponry has been pretty laughable. The first Christmas improvised weapon we will be showing you today is the candy cane. Now, it doesn't take a genius to know that if you lick a candy cane enough, it becomes very sharp and very pointy. And that point can be used very well to maybe poke somebody's eye out. However, it is way too brittle to get into the cranial cavity. It doesn't matter where you go. Orbit, temple, whatever. It's gonna snap. Like a Slim Jim. And you will be eaten. Later. However, not wanting to put the candy cane to rest, we decided to use a couple of other versions of the candy cane, starting with a decoration candy cane. Much bigger. Potential bludgeoner. It sucked. Fuck you up. The other candy cane we tried to use we thought had much more bludgeoning potential and that was a giant candy cane dog chew toy made of rawhide. However, it rendered less than spectacular results in zero zombie deanimations. Alright, I hope they can kill a zombie. Let's test this out. This is, feels good. Ah! Nope. You can't. Woo! Ah, I'm exhausted. Anybody want to try? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ah! Tidings we bring to you and your kids. We had hope. The second improvised weapon we will be showing you today is a tub of popcorn. And yes, a tub of popcorn is made of metal. But that metal is tin. And tin sucks. What a waste of popcorn. I really like the cheddar kind. What's your favorite? Let me know.
I get to the third weapon on the list, I wanted to show you a short clip of the ZGB episodes coming out in January. Roll it! So if you want to be one of the first people to watch those Zombie Go Boom episodes, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell button and the like button. Those are way too many buttons, Susan. Also, 10,000 likes would really help. Moving on! The third weapon we will be showing you today is the stocking full of coal. Now I know a lot of people are familiar with this weapon as every single Christmas you get at least one. I know I do. Now we have tried all sorts of stocking flail type weapons before. Soap in a sock. Alright, so as soon as I hit, it broke a hole right in the sock, it flew out, down, and uh, it hit me square in the nuts. Lock in a shirt. It's a zombie kill, and what's cool about it, there's not a lot of blood flying everywhere. I would suggest you double wrap it. Ah, uh, good thing we had that on there. <laughs> we decided to put a line, just in case. Lock in a sock. Ah! All of these, barring that horrible hit to the nuts, were actually uh, used to great effect. However, the coal and the stocking did a little bit more than nothing. You've been a naughty little boy all year. All you're getting is coal. Three, two, one. Again, it's gonna fly everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna need something else. Liz, if you're being naughty during Christmas, stop it. A stocking full of coal isn't gonna help you for nothing. Not even during the zombie apocalypse. The fourth item that sucks absolute monkey balls is none other than the Home Alone paint can trap. Now the speed you might be able to generate by stringing a paint can to the ceiling and hurling it at a zombie burglar may seem impressive. The can is also made of tin and tin gives way, sending your favorite colored paint all over the place while the zombie is still pretty much the same, just a little stickier. The fifth Christmas weapon that sucks is none other than the Red Rider BB gun. Now, yes, it can shoot your eye out. Well, that's it. All right, guys, so for our test today, we actually put some ballistics gelatin inside of the eye sockets of our good friend here. Oh my gosh, if a zombie apocalypse is ever going down, I am taking this guy with me. Look at that shot. Look, that is dead center in the middle of its eyeball, exactly what we wanted to go down. Now, while that is awesome, it looks like we definitely did some damage, and it's definitely blind at the very least. Uh, I don't think here, let's see what we got in here. See, yeah, I don't think the BB actually entered or went further into the skull. I believe what happened was it just kind of hit it, went a little ways in and then just popped right back out.
Oh, it bounced off. I saw it. I saw yeah. it bounce. The BB is not going to go through a skull. It doesn't matter where you shoot it. It could be the orbit, temporal bone, parietal bone, occipital bone, leg bone. It's not going to go through bone. It's not. Which means it's not going to do any damage to the brain. Which means it's not going to kill a zombie. At least not that way. Now you could turn it around and use it as a bludgeoner. And that works, but only once. Because the weapon will break. The stock will break. It will break. Now we have come to the moment of truth. The one Christmas weapon that absolutely does not suck. That's right, you guessed it. It's our very own ZGB Christmas baseball bat. Ooh, that's right. It's a Louisville Slugger wrapped in Christmas lights. And you're right. The Christmas lights aren't actually required. But boy, do they look festive. Until they break. But hey, you'll still have a perfectly good baseball bat. That was five Christmas weapons that suck and one that doesn't. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what other kinds of improvised weapons you'd like for us to test in the year 2019 in the comments section. Like this video if you like it. And with another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom and Chuck Murray, where's Charles? I love you. I love you.